Hi, welcome to the channel, Budget Audio Review. Now this is a follow-up video from that RT3151 where I had a noisy transistor. Now, I thought everything was alright. I mean, I tried it, it sounded fine. I went on the internet looking for a replacement for the transistor that was noisy in this unit. And I really followed a few forums, quite a few forums actually, a few different places I went to try and find a replacement for that noisy 2SC458 transistor. And most of them threw up one or two different transistors that you could uh, replace it with, substitute the faulty transistor with. And I literally uh, sent away for three transistors. Uh, and the first to arrive was the 2SC2240. So I thought, well, that's one of them. I'll keep the others as spare for other things, etc. I should plonk it in there, uh, set it all up, make sure it works, and put the video up on the channel. And that's exactly what I did. And it did sound fine. It sounded, you know, perfect kind of thing. Uh, and a subscriber. One of my followers, uh, just make sure that I do uh, apologise if I uh, get this name wrong. My pronunciations and uh, reading words, etc., are not great, I must admit. But uh, Oobs Mr. Groove uh, got in contact, left a comment saying that uh, I could have probably picked 10 different transistors than the one I picked, and they would have been better than that 2SC2240. Like I say, I, was only, uh, I didn't actually look it up, I just followed other people's uh, advice uh, that obviously uh, replaced the 2SC458, that 40 transistor, with that other transistor and then you know, according to them everything worked fine it was all lovely jubbly etc and I pretty much would have said exactly the same what I actually did in that video I said uh, you know all's working fine it's working lovely and so I got that uh, comment so I thought I'd delve a little bit deeper I started mucking around with the unit pretty much for the old day that day uh, after I got that uh, message and I listened to it listened to it and everything and uh, I, I was pretty you know, quite convinced and uh, quite happy with the sound coming out of it, you know, sounding nice and clear, no distortion, everything sounded fine. And what I did, I just left it blank, I, I just pressed play on there with uh, on pause, something I don't normally do, I don't think it's something you're probably going to do, uh, add the output full on here, add my amplifier on full, and press my ear against the speaker. And I could hear a little clicking noise, so uh, what I'm going to do, uh, this is amplifying up quite a bit this clicking noise, it was apparent, it was just about all the book, but just about hearing it listening up against the speaker, so I've recorded it onto my little recorder, and I've kind of boosted it up a bit so you can hear it a bit clearer, so you're not going to have to turn your, uh, your uh, monitor speakers or whatever you're listening to, your phone or whatever, you're not going to have to turn it full volume to hear it, so I've amplified it up a bit, and this is the kind of oscillating clicking noise I was getting. So there you go, yeah, there's the noise, that oscillating noise I was getting, listening close up to the speaker, I've just played you that recording, don't forget that's amplified quite a bit, but it was, it was apparent when I pressed my ear against the speaker, if you kind of come away about a metre or so, you, you, you wasn't going to hear it, and then there's not many people that's going to have their uh, cassette deck on pause with the play down, output full on, and the amplifier full on, and if you did try anything like that, be very careful, because if you accidentally forget the amplifier's on 10 and you press play, there's a possibility you may blow one of the drivers, which happened to me, uh, even though I didn't leave the amplifier on time of 10, my granddaughter did that and uh, blew one of my Wolfdale speakers quite a while ago now, so I'm very, very careful making sure everything's on zero when I turn it on. But it's something that not many people's going to do. I mean, if they can't replace that transistor, they're not going to have it on number 10 with the poles down and play and putting your ear against the speaker. It's something that's probably not going to happen, so a lot of people and it depends on the unit as well, let's just make sure we clarify that. It depends on the unit. Some units that transfer may, you know, the transistor that replacement may work fine and that may not be audible at all. But in this particular unit, it didn't work fine. As you can see, if I maxed it out in volume, you could hear that little clicking noise. Uh, like I say, most people's not going to do that. So to them, it's working fine. But uh, no, thanks to uh, Ooms, Mr. Groove. Um, I kind of tweaked that out, I kind of you know, listened out for it and uh, did find that little discrepancy, which, which is not the end of the world, but it would be nice to get that right the other channel. Don't forget this was the right-hand channel making that noise, I, didn't, I forgot to mention that. It was the right-hand channel making that noise, the left-hand channel was absolutely fine with the original 458 transistor in there. So of course, that's no good, you know what I mean, it, it's got that, I mean, get away with it, it's acceptable kind of thing, I suppose, to a certain degree, but let's get it bang on, no noise. Well. Another transistor turned up, it was a 2SC1815, uh, again, going by the forums, was a transistor that uh, is compatible, is a substitute for the 2SC458. So, Julie, I took the uh, 2SC2240, 
transistor out and I replaced it with this other substitute, the 2SC1815. Uh, done exactly the same test, volume full on, ear against the speaker, could not hear a dicky bird, nothing, that little oscillation had gone. So I'm going to play you recording again, this is this recording again, amplified, exactly the same amount as that previous recording I just, uh, uh, you just had to listen to, so let's listen to that. So as you can hear, uh, there's no noise on that, no clicking noise, that, that transistor worked fine in this unit. Um, the recordings are fine, everything was fine, I played everything back, there was no distortion, you know, it played perfectly. So, you know, I, I'll pretty much listen to it for a week now, or near enough a week, I think it is, since that last video. It's been pretty much sat here, headphones on, listening to, make sure it's recording, uh, you know, gives you decent recording back. And that clicking noise doesn't suddenly appear after a while. So, you know, now I think this is fully fixed. So, you know, is there a moral to this story? Maybe, maybe like... Um, you should double, double, double check any like for yourself, someone like me, or any other person on the internet saying this is a substitute. Maybe you should uh, you know, double check to make sure it is. Or when you fit it, maybe just go to maybe a little bit more extreme test than you normally would. Something like that maybe uh, to get the exact part. But um, yeah, so um, like I say, you know, it was stuff that that other transistor I put in there originally. You know, it, it would have been fine. I, I was no way I was going to play this full volume anyway. Uh, so that little clicking noise would never have been apparent if I didn't actually do some further tests and listen up close. It, may, it would have probably been apparent if I had an oscilloscope here or something. I haven't got an oscilloscope, but if I had an oscilloscope here or something and connected that up and uh, turned the, you know, the, the, the gain on that high or etc. Listen out, uh, not listen out, look out for the uh, clicking sound, something like that. But if, you know, most people would come to fix this, they're probably just looking on their equivalent transistor, they're going to bung it in, turn it on, listen to it. I think oh, that works, it's, it's working now, that's great. They're not going to an oscilloscope and all that you know it's, it's a bit more involved for a different kind of person maybe but um yeah so that's it really so i just thought i'll update that previous video with this video saying you know, maybe just be a little bit careful uh double double check any of these uh kind of like transistors that's uh, equivalents or substitutes for a transistor that's gone in your particular unit uh sometimes it may sound like it's absolutely working fine but it may be just a little bit that's not quite working as you could uh, hear in this video i know it's pretty minuscule but it was there and we wanted to get it right at the end. So that's it. I'll say thanks to uh, my uh, subscriber, my follower, uh, Ooms, Mr. Groove. And uh, hopefully this is all sorted out and fixed now. Until the next video, I'll say thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.